Hi, I'm CJ Sturko of the STS-128 crew, and you're watching NASA TV. Good morning, Discovery. A special good morning to you today, CJ. Good morning, Houston. It's uh, great to be back in space, uh, and we're looking forward to a great uh, flight day two. We're looking forward to flight day two, and it's great to be working with you. While I have you, the execute package should be printing on board, and your go for Outlook. Copy all, and uh, thanks to uh, my wife, Michelle, and my kids, uh, Amy Beth and Travis Lee, for that song. Well, all of Mission Control appreciated it. And Discovery for Pat, uh, you are go for OBSS Sunbirth. Good work. We're uh, getting underway now as uh, pilot Kevin Ford and mission specialist Pat Forrester will be at the aft flight deck to begin the procedures uh, to use the shuttle's robotic arm to uh, maneuver that, the 50-foot-long uh, shuttle arm over to the starboard sill of uh, the orbiter and grapple and unberth the 50-foot-long boom extension known as the orbiter boom sensor system that is equipped with lasers and cameras to begin a six-and-a-half-hour inspection day in which uh, the boom will be used uh, to scan the reinforced carbon-carbon on the leading edges of the shuttle's uh, starboard wing, then its nose cap, and then over to the port side of the orbiter to paint a uh, three-dimensional portrait of the uh, heat protection shield on discovery, another set of imagery data to be analyzed by the imagery experts uh, here uh, in uh, Mission Control as they conduct uh, their iterative analysis of Discovery's heat shield and how it fared the ride to orbit. This is a sequential still video. Uh, you're looking uh, right at the end of the orbiter boom sensor system and the grapple fixture to which the shuttle's robotic arm will latch on to a short time from now. While this activity is ongoing, uh, down in the mid-deck of uh, Discovery, the three spacewalkers for this mission, Danny Olivas, the lead spacewalker, European Space Agency astronaut Christer Fugelsang and Nicole Stott will soon begin a comprehensive checkout of the three uh, spacesuits or extravehicular mobility units that they will wear uh, to conduct the trio of spacewalks planned for this mission. Taking a look now uh, through the view of the um, laser dynamic range imager, uh, the, one of the uh, laser sensor packages at the end of the orbiter boom sensor system that is being calibrated right now by uh, Kevin Ford, Pat Forrester, and Jose Hernandez uh, at the outset of the inspection work that they will be conducting over the course of uh, the rest of the afternoon into uh, the mid-evening time frame. Checking. Discovery, that view looks good. You're go to continue. Thanks, Berger. While well, the calibration of the uh, laser systems at the end of the orbiter boom sensor system uh, is ongoing and nearing completion, Discovery has maneuvered uh, for the inspection orientation uh, in the proper attitude uh, relative to the Earth uh, to provide uh, the best. Uh, sun angles and the proper communications uh, for um, the maximizing of the um, KU band communication system for downlink TV of this inspection work. And Houston, the recorders are started on the Vital 718. We're watching, thanks.
This is Mission Control Houston. Inspection work uh, is going very well. Once the starboard wing inspection is complete, uh, the arm will be uh, maneuvered back uh, in front of the nose of the shuttle while the crew breaks for a midday meal. After that, uh, the survey of the nose cap will uh, begin and uh, the inspection uh, will be completed with a survey of the port wing. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, inspection of the shuttle's nose cap is continuing by a trio of astronauts on board the orbiter, Kevin Ford, Pat Forrester, and Jose Hernandez. We're a little more than halfway through this procedure that will culminate with a survey of the reinforced carbon-carbon along the leading edge of the port wing of the orbiter before the orbiter boom sensor system uh, boom extension is berthed back in its moorings on the starboard sill of the payload bay with its job having been completed uh, for this uh, flight day's worth of inspection activity. This is Mission Control Houston. As Ford, Forrester, and Hernandez continue the survey of the port wing using the orbiter boom sensor system, the rest of the crew is getting ready for all the mid-deck transfers that uh, have to be done once Discovery docks with the International Space Station. Their Expedition 20 counterparts on board the station are uh, mirroring those activities as well, getting everything, everything ready to go on board the station that has to be put on board Discovery for the return home. During uh, typical shuttle missions to the International Space Station, there's about a ton of supplies that are swapped back and forth between the shuttle and the International Space Station. But due to this multi-purpose logistics module, or Leonardo, that is down in Discovery's payload bay, there's just an enormous amount of equipment uh, that is going to be transferred over to the station after tomorrow evening's docking. So there's quite a bit of uh, inventory and coordination activities that are going on on both the shuttle and the station at this time in preparation for tomorrow and the subsequent day's activities that are coming up.
And you can see Commander Rick Sturko there inside the hatch of Discovery waving at the orbiter boom sensor system as uh, that 50-foot-long uh, attachment on the end of Discovery's robotic arm continues the survey of the left side of shuttle Discovery. This is Mission Control Houston, continuing to look at this video coming from uh, the camera that's on the end of the orbiter boom sensor system. This is the 50-foot-long extension that is uh, currently attached to Discovery's robotic arm. This OBSS has been in heavy use today as the crew used it to uh, complete a survey of both wings of the shuttle as well as the nose cap. This is uh, going to be uh, looked at by the team here in Houston to make sure that uh, Discovery's wing leading edges and the front part of the shuttle remains in good shape. All of this data and video will be combined when someone has a free hand. with uh, images that will be captured tomorrow as Discovery will perform the traditional backflip uh, before it docks with the International Space Station. As you can see, the orbiter boom sensor system now being moved back toward the payload bay. This of you inside Discovery's payload bay 
as the STS-128 crew gets ready to berth this orbiter boom sensor system. As you can see, it is now in motion uh, toward its final uh, position where it will be locked down for the remainder of the mission. It will be used uh, toward the end of Discovery's flight, right before the crew comes home, uh, to perform the late inspection, just make sure that everything remains in good shape. But uh, the orbiter boom sensor system uh, complete for the day, having looked at the port survey, uh, the port wing survey, as well as the uh, starboard wing as well. It also scanned the nose cap. All of that video and data is going to be looked at by the team here in Houston over the next few days. At 0015 and stopped at 0040. All 16 gaps were activated. Uh, there was no leakage or any anomalies detected. Copy, thanks for that report. This is Mission Control in Houston, the crew of Discovery continuing to get this orbiter boom sensor system uh, stored back into the shuttle's payload bay. There's several different latches that have to be aligned up uh, together uh, to get this thing properly uh, bolted down into the payload bay of the shuttle itself. So the crew's backing it out a little bit to get everything lined up in parallel the way that it needs to be uh, so that it can be secured as expected. And yeah, Discovery Houston uh, with the recommendation for the berthing. Yeah, we think you may have better luck if you come up about six inches, which we see you doing, in Z, and then pitch down zero decimal two degrees. Okay, that's going to work. Thanks. The payloads officer here in Mission Control confirming that um, everything is lined up on this orbiter boom sensor system. It should be ready to latch here in just a few minutes. After that's done, uh, Discovery's robotic arm will let go of the OBSS and will move back over to the uh, left side of the shuttle. And discovery for CJ and the maneuver. Go ahead, Houston. Yeah, sorry about the long delay there. We'd like that maneuver in A5 Auto Alt. You can kick it off now, but be aware that there's some free drift coming up in step eight of uh, for OBSS ungrapple, and you'll need to manage that uh, so that the end of the maneuver does not occur while you're in free drift. Okay, we copy that. It's going to be an A5 auto alt to the uh, current uh, attitude we've got loaded uh, with an item 19. Here we go. And we copy that when we uh, hit free drift for the Elvis uh, ungrapple that we don't want to be uh, have it go sailing past the attitude. Good copy. And uh, also, 
uh, as you correctly said earlier, the item 20 plus 2 is not required anymore. Thanks a lot, Houston. Here we go. And Houston, uh, so uh, they said it's going to take them about a minute or so to get that ungrappled. Uh, we could either just sit right here, let them do it, uh, or does it need to be in free drift the uh, whole way when they're flying it over to free cradle? We don't think. And CJ, you are correct. You do not need to be in free drift for the whole maneuver back to pre-cradle. It's just for um, the ungrapple and then flying up to the pre-grapple position that we need to be in free. Okay, we're going to let them do that first, and then we'll kick off the maneuver in a minute or two. I think it's just, uh, that's the way it's going to work out. Copy and concur. This is Mission Control Houston getting a good view now of the center line camera. This has been successfully set up by the crew of Discovery in advance of tomorrow's rendezvous and docking uh, with the station. This will serve as the crosshairs as a Discovery closes in on the Harmony node and pressurized mating adapter number two, which is where Discovery will be docked.
And uh, while we were doing that, actually, they burned upstairs, so suddenly all the things were flying away from us. But they had given us a heads up, so we were warned. This, uh, on the mid deck, we have cleaned up uh, now compared to yesterday. We had a lot of uh, bags, things, and that. Then the uh, chief of the mid deck got things really nicely cleaned out. Today was the uh, inspection since it was flight day two. And we pulled the OBSS out of. Uh, off the starboard side of the orbiter and completed the inspection of both the uh, both sides of starboard and port. We also did a nose cap inspection. We took turns uh, playing R1 with the other two helping with the scans and recording. It's a pretty full day. We start early in the morning and it takes most of the day to get through it all. Did a lot of the work is done on the ground as they uh, take all of our images and the data and begin to analyze it. One of our uh, big chores up here is getting all the video and audio equipment set up to not only record but ship things to the ground. Lots of connections, uh, lots of those are video uh, converter boxes and power boxes, and uh, there are just many of them, uh, maybe uh, eight or nine different ways to record things and uh, ship stuff to the ground. And so uh, we finally got that all, uh, all together, I think, by the end of the uh, middle of today and uh, got everything we needed. Okay, you see that down the mid deck again. We finally got the ergometer all set up, and this is a, actually it's a manual adjustment knob. And uh, you can see that uh, space is a lot of fun. If you're not having fun in space, and uh, you're obviously doing something wrong. But while we were downstairs getting things configured for uh, basically our on-orbit stay, again uh, the guys who are up on top, uh, Pat, Kevin, and Jose, uh, doing the inspection. That is a that's a really long day, as Pat mentioned. Uh, and uh, it's a very, it's a very uh, hard task to do, but they did a really great job today. But as uh, Christopher mentioned earlier, you know, we, we uh, try and combat the uh, uh, issues associated with uh, being in space. And you can see here CJ taking advantage of the work that we did with the ergometer. He was the first one to jump on it, and here he is working out. Today we spent uh, quite a bit of time working on uh, EMU checkout or checking out the spacesuits for the three spacewalks that we'll be doing. You can see uh, Danny and Chris are here working on their spacesuits. We worked on the suits themselves and then spent part of the day as well pulling together all the equipment that we'll need to transfer over to the space station because all three of our spacewalks will be happening out of the space station airlock. Here you can see Kevin up on the flight deck. Uh, we have uh, quite a few windows that we have the opportunity to look out of. These are some of the, the video screens that we use for the robotics operations. And here's Kevin looking out the window. And in this task, he's working with the robotic arm and the big long boom that we have to work on the inspection and looking at clearance between the uh, orbiter and uh, the boom. And this is a really nice shot of the, the robotic arm attached to the boom. Here's Pat up on the flight deck, in the, actually up where the pilot and the commander sit, looking out the windows. And from every window we have a really spectacular view of the Earth that is, as well as the uh, what surprised me, the real, real blackness of space. I don't think I've ever seen black as it is out here. And now here's uh, CJ down on the mid.
the deck. One of the tasks that we do every day as far as maintenance goes is filter cleaning. We have to keep the air clean up here for both the systems as well as ourselves, and CJ has the vacuum working on, on the filters down here. And I got the opportunity as well to uh, use the vacuum cleaner, and it's really, really very fun. Back into spaces that you don't normally see, just to make sure it's all clean. Floating to get to a vacuum is very fun. And here we have a shot out the window of uh, Sunrise, I believe. And there's a little sensor package showing up in the in the camera view as well on, on the boom, I think, right? Okay, and here's CJ on the mid-deck. Uh, another one of the, the main tasks that we have on both Space Shuttle and Space Station is working on um, science activities. And this particular experiment is looking at, um, I think it's looking at uh, vaccines for different kinds of um, bacteria. Or I, actually, this is a strep one. And these experiments are always fun because we get actually some hands-on time with uh, different pieces of equipment. And Discovery, with that, uh, we have nothing further for you tonight. Thank you very much for a great day's work. It's been a pleasure, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, yeah, uh, thanks a lot, Houston. Stan, it was great working with you and uh, Quatsy today, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.